Hi everybody, Bearded Rogue here, uh, and today I want to talk to you about the Dallas-Fort Worth Nerd Nighters. Uh, the DFW Nerd Nighters uh, are an extremely awesome organization out of Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas, um, who have found a way to take playing games and turn it into a way to raise money for charities for their community, to uh, create an inclusive open environment uh, to bring new gamers into the hobby uh, and to throw amazing parties like the one that they have at Gen Con which is the only free event at Gen Con um, which donates, uh, which, which raises a lot of money through donations for charities um, they're also extremely uh, large uh, PR uh, in the board game uh, universe, um, they have helped a number of people with a uh, show that they call Back It um, on Kickstarter, which is, uh, as you would imagine, a place that lets creators go and discuss their Kickstarter, like talk about the game, talk about why they created the game, talk about what they love about the game, talk about themselves and their hobbies. And it was how I was first introduced to them. Uh, they did a Back It with... Uh, Philip DuBerry and his daughter Isabel um, for her game Tiger Stripes. Um, yes, Philip DuBerry is an amazing designer, and his daughter is also a designer. Um, but she designed this game, and they were on Back It talking with uh, J.R. Honeycutt. Uh, and um, J.R. Uh, is one of the chief uh, faces for the Nerd Nighters. He's everywhere. He's also the community manager for Level 99 Games. He's also a game designer. He's also an all-around amazing person. Um, and he gives really good hugs. I uh, just thought I'd throw that out there as well. But um, but they were doing uh, this show and allowing people to talk about themselves and the, the the ideas behind their game and why it was a good game and it was just a fantastic series the production volume uh, values weren't really high but the content was amazing so that's what first drew me in and then I started watching their weekly nerd nighters podcast or mostly weekly nerd nighters podcast and on this podcast they have um they talk about what they're playing, they talk about things that are cool, they talk about issues in the industry, they bring in very um, very interesting and awesome guests from the industry to talk about things and talk about specific topics. They almost always have guest hosts. Uh, they've since had one of their guest hosts kind of become a de facto permanent host, and that's Stephanie Straw, who is also amazing. Um, and I've talked about JR and I've talked about Stephanie, but I have to bring up Ace. Um, Mr. Enriquez is one of the most generous, amazing, warm people I have ever met in this hobby. Um, he's a really rad dude, and, uh, he and JR complement each other very well. JR is very, like, high-energy, fast-talking, mind works at a million miles an hour, and Ace is, uh, very laid-back, very chill, um... Very, like, strong in his opinions, uh, and, uh, very reasonable in his opinions as well. Like, he'll defend his opinions to the death, but after he's talked about them, you can understand why he holds those opinions. Um, and, uh, they make a very good mix. Uh, listening to them banter back and forth is fantastic. You can tell that they genuinely like each other, um, and that, uh, even though they don't agree on everything, um... They represent a really wide swath of the gaming hobby. They're um, into a lot of different games. JR is more into the heavy Euros, and Ace is much more into the uh, screaming games, um, or at least the uh, talking loudly games. But uh, they are very good representatives for the hobby because they're very careful in their speaking and their language because they genuinely care about people, and they genuinely want to be as inclusive as possible. Um, they do everything in their power to try to make everywhere they are the immediate proximity around them into a safe space, so that people can enjoy this hobby for what it is, a great 
social thing you can do with friends or a amazing brain burning exercise that you can engage in around a table or fierce mental combat or um, a fun, light, relaxing time. Like, whatever you come to the hobby for, they're here to make sure that you get that. Uh, and it's really amazing. The fact that they can do all of that and raise money for charity um, is just amazing, and it really speaks to who they are. Um, I don't want to leave out the other Nerd Nighters. Uh, JR and Ace are the primary faces, and Stephanie, even though she's not in Dallas-Fort Worth, has kind of become an official part of the group, but um, Donnie and Hammer uh, are two people who show up all the time, uh, and um, all over the place, and uh, Donnie um, is really funny, and has a really biting sense of humor, and has organized one of the most amazing Facebook groups I've ever seen in my life for Ashes, uh, Plaid Hat's new uh, um, expandable card game. We'll use that term since uh, I'd rather not use LCG. Um, but, uh, uh, like, he's very active in the community as well. He's always demoing games. He's uh, Like, I see stuff on his feed all the time about him going out and introducing games to players and evangelizing the hobby, and that's fantastic. And Hammer, uh, I got the opportunity to meet him at Gen Con, and he's just a really freaking cool dude. Um, you know, he, he's got a uh, really nice... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it, just a genuinely good air about him. Like, you feel comfortable around him, and you feel like you could talk about anything or say anything or do anything, and, you know, the first time I met him, I felt like I had known him forever. Like, I, I got to eat lunch uh, the one day I was at Gen Con with Ace and Hammer, and, um, which sound like superhero names, by the way, but... Uh, sitting around uh, the table with them and eating and talking about Daredevil and talking about board games and what was hot and Gen Con because it was uh, Hammer's first time as well as it was mine. Uh, so we were just kind of comparing notes and talking about the Grizzled, which um, I still have yet to play. Oh my god, I cannot believe that I do not own this game already. Um, eventually I will get it, I am sure, uh, but it's, um, like, they had me salivating for it at the table, their descriptions of it, and how different it was, and how unique of an experience it was, and how respectful it was, and how it was genuinely about humanity as opposed to war, and I think that alone summarizes the Nerd Nighters more than anything else. The Nerd Nighters are about humanity and connecting humanity. You know, they may engage in competitive uh, gaming, they may engage in cooperative gaming, but they're always about the people, and that makes a huge difference. The, the hobby is much better off having amazing individuals like them in it. Anyway, um, uh, you should check them out, absolutely. Their almost weekly show is almost always on, is on Wednesday nights. Um, it's almost every week, sometimes after conventions, it's not on. Um, and they do back it stuff intermittently, and JR will occasionally post unboxing videos. Um, and then uh, Ace is also a uh, game developer, uh, did some work for uh, Magic Meeple Press on Dark Rock Ventures, helped uh, Michael Eskew and Ian Steadman and all of the Magic Meeple crew get that game into fit fighting shape and helped it be a uh, amazingly successful Kickstarter. Um, speaking of Kickstarters, uh, North South East Quest, J.R. Honeycutt, uh, the Kickstarter's probably over as I'm saying this, but look for that game. Um, look for any game by J.R. Honeycutt. Uh, Doug Doug Goose Caboose, um, Twerk, which is a word game. I'm not a big fan of word games, but it's a word game that's all about spelling fast as opposed to just spelling in general. Um, anyway, uh, they're, they're amazing people. The hobby is incredibly lucky to have them. I'm glad that they uh, are doing what they are doing. I would love to see more people around the country doing what they're doing, gaming and sharing it with, uh, with charities. I know that Extra Life exists. I know that, um, uh, Isaac, uh, Shalev and, um, Dan Patrice and various other people are involved in charities and gaming, and I really think that that's something that, uh, we as a hobby can give to the community, and the Nerd Nighters do it every month. Um... 
I, I could keep going on and on about how much I absolutely love these guys and girls and people and this huge group of gamers down in Dallas-Fort Worth that are doing amazing things, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, so uh, Bearded Rogue, I'll talk to you tomorrow.